Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. In this section we're going to continue working redox reactions as far as balancing them. But in this lesson we're going to learn how to balance them when you are told that it's happening in a basic solution. So if you remember from before, when we're doing these in acidic solution we use hydrogen ions, H plus, to balance the hydrogens when we get to that step. The reason we do that is because it's an acidic solution. So whether you like it or not, if you're doing this reaction in an acidic solution, you're going to have H plus ions floating around and they're going to participate in the reaction. So we can use them to balance. And that's what typically happens when you're doing those things in acidic solution. So it stands to reason then, if you're performing the reaction in a basic solution, if you remember back to the definition of acids and bases, um, bases are solutions of water that have an excess of hydroxide, that's OH negative, that's hydroxide ions. So you don't have a lot of H pluses floating around, you actually have a lot of OH negatives floating around, hydroxide ions. So it would stand to reason that we would then modify the procedure and we get to the step, instead of balancing with hydrogen ions, we would balance with hydroxide ions, OH negatives. And that's in fact what you'll see in a lot of textbook. If you crack your book open and read it, that's probably, or some variation of that is probably what you're gonna see in there. They're gonna tell you to come down here. When you get here, instead of balancing H with H plus, you balance it with OH negative. But when you think about it, that makes things a little bit complicated because, see, we've already balanced the oxygen with H2O. Then if I start balancing hydrogens with OH negative, I'm introducing even more oxygens after I've already balanced oxygens. So it leads to a little bit more of a process that you have to go through there. And so I just wanted to show you that that's basically how it's basically going to be taught in most books. What we're going to do here is, I don't want to call it a shortcut, I'm going to call it an enhanced technique that I find to be 